Today I'm replacing the cabin filter in my 2012 Toyota RAV4. You have an air filter for your engine and a cabin filter for your cabin. It's basically for your heating and air conditioning and if your heat or AC starts to smell musty, it's probably because your cabin filter is dirty. It's behind the glove box, so first I'm going to clear everything out so that we can get this open. So on the glove box on either side, this tab and this tab are holding it in and then there's a little piston that kind of makes sure that it doesn't slam open and shut. But if you just get a screwdriver and pry these forward, then you can pull the glove box completely out. Just pop this guy off and then you can pull it completely out of your way. Once you set the glove box out of your way, you'll see this cover here. The little arrow says up. There's a tab right here that you pop open. There's a tab on this side that goes behind the little hook there. And this is your cabin filter. Note the arrow facing up. That's how the airflow goes. When you put in a new filter, make sure you put it in the right direction. So this guy can just get full of junk and leaves and stuff, which will make your airflow less savory, I guess. Most manufacturers recommend replacing it once a year, every 12,000 miles, whichever comes first. But super easy to do. Some quick lube shops charge a fair amount of labor for this, but honestly, I did it with a butter knife. So something you should be able to handle as well. This is the new air filter or cabin filter. See how it's got the arrow? I wanna have it facing up. You just slide this in like so. And you grab your cover, put that clip through the little hole back there, snap this guy into place, and then you put your glove box back in. So the glove box has these little hook guys hook into these holes here. Make sure you get this piston into place, and then you can just pop it in pretty easily. Make sure these two hinges underneath are popped on where they're supposed to be. So the door can open and close smoothly. I've got my piston popped back into place. Both of the things, the hooks onto the little loops, and then you just push it so that these guys will hold it in place again. And that's it.